Thursday, May 16th, 2019, and we're at 2572 Fifeshire, Winter Park, Florida, 32792, here in Brookshire Heights, near Winter Park High School. I am top Winter Park Realtor, Scott Garrison, with Remax Town & Country, went to high school here a million years ago, Winter Park. Went to UCF, down at the other end of the university. I've been selling real estate all in this area for 28 years. Call me, let me help you too. So the purpose of this video is to give you some views that you can't get just looking at the best 45 pictures online on Realtor.com and Zillow. How do I know that? Because if you've seen pictures of this property online, I am most likely the one who took them. What we want to do this is a little cul-de-sac here. I'm going to check out this area. I'm going to give you a feel for the houses in the neighborhood here about noon on a sunny Thursday in May. A lot of curb appeal here. A lot of space for a family. Great family has lived here for many, many years. Raised a passel of kids. Now we're waiting for a new one. You can see the nice trees, which is part of what people like here in this area near Winter Park High School. We're real near the intersection of Lakemont and Aloma, which is near Winter Park High Hospital, Hospital, in the heart of Winter Park. Maybe about 10 minutes from downtown Park Avenue. And walking distance to the high school. How do I know that? I used to walk to high school and I live much farther away. It's also walking distance to middle school. Though, so, since I went to school, kids are, I think, a little softer. I don't think they're going to walk all the way to Glen Ridge. You can see there's no bad houses on the street. Marks of people with money. And affluence, nice landscaping. See the triple layer hedges with around the flag there. Things manicured. St. Augustine lawn. We have a St. Augustine lawn. Take sprinkler system. A lot of money. Takes a yard spray service. And it takes attention and care, which is what you're seeing in these homes. All right, let's go back down to the house itself. That car's usually not there. That's mine. When we first walk up, you can see the tremendous curb appeal. This is a house that you pull up to. Friends and family say, you know what? These people have arrived. House was built in 1962. Sure, it's changed a lot since then. 2578 square foot, according to the county records. 3414, including the slabs, which is like the front porch, the garage, all of that. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths, lots of nice touches. You know, the extra parking, pavers, quality lawn. Big AC unit. Now, all that was replaced about 10 years ago, maybe 11. Hurricane Charlie came through. And that's all been new. House has been replumbed, of course. Nice backyard. Private, quiet, great for butterflies. We got oleander, all kinds of other plants. That looks like alamanda, only alamanda is yellow. Some lantana there, pentas, all designed to attract butterflies and birds if you're interested in that. Those are wild muscadine grapes, I believe. I don't think they're uh, cultivated grapes. They sure are pretty. 
start your own little vineyard here. We're going to go back to this little area. It used to be a play area. And that's the gas for the fireplace. Put a tank there. And I think many years ago, the kids were toddlers. Let them out this room. Grass, cement. Got the fence nerfed. Nice for dogs. Now, let's see. All right, let's go inside. That is a nice picture, standing here at the entry. That is a heck of an entrance. Right there. Walk in. Say, welcome home. See those wood floors? We'll see them. They're all the way upstairs. They've just been sanded and resealed a week ago. Makes the whole house smell new. Got that gas fireplace saw outside. Got nice faux painting on the wall, and that is pretty awesome. Got the formal dining room. This goes out to the little play area or dog area. Carpet looks brand new. So as I was saying, the electrical outside got replaced about 2005. Replaced the electrical panel about 2016. That's been upgraded. Of course, the whole house has been replumbed as well. The roof is newer. So nice features on the kitchen. Granite counters. Nice appliances. Stainless steel. Open to what would probably be the main living area here. And this is a heck of a room. Got this great wood floor and you can see the shine on it. You could have three pool tables in here and still room. So we got room for couches, dining room tables, flat screen TVs, pool tables, cats and dogs, Living together. No shortage of space. With those nice doors going all the way out to the back. Alright, we're going to go through one of the little nooks of the house. Got the half bath here. Downstairs guest bath. Look at how neatly that's labeled. And that's one of the things about this house is there is no detail that has not been Sanded, painted, adjusted, replaced. I was talking to the owner the other day. He says, you know, we've been here a long time. He says, we replaced, I think, almost everything at one point or another. Obviously includes the washer and dryer. Nice, bright. This is like that commercial plastic. Won't get dirty. Keeps everything nice and white. Now, when I came out here in this big two-car garage, and they were getting ready to put it on the market, Mrs. Seller was out here steam cleaning the garage floor. How many houses have a steam cleaned garage floor? Answer, none. Brand new garage door, of course. And you can tell they just didn't put anything in there. It is solid. Good looking. At one point this room was enclosed into a big playroom. Windows were replaced about 18 years ago in the whole house. And they still look just brand new. So now we come out of that door. Back to the foyer. Nice big tile. And we've got this oak flooring that's amazing. I was pricing a flooring the other day, and everybody wants to put in the wood laminate, which is certainly nice. 
a engineered hardwood. But this is the real old fashioned wood. Wood that shows taste for sure. And look at that shine. This is like I'm probably about the first person to walk on it. Just beautiful here in the master bedroom. Plenty of room for any configuration of furniture, for sure. And that cedar, well done, master closet. And the master bath. For a house built in 1962, this is pretty amazing. Everything's new, it's been redone, super clean. And we're standing in the shower. And we say, all right, let's take a shower. But wait, what if you get lonely? Well, let's take this dual shower and invite a friend. Invite the whole family. Not many places with the dual shower heads, the dual sinks. place smells so good with these floors having just been redone. So now we're on to the upstairs bath number two. And this is pretty amazing too. So we've got the bathroom, usually the kids bath, but we have a jetted tub. You can see all the tile, of course, is new. Nice mirrors. We've got dual sinks here. Let's go into the shower. And if you decide you want to use this little cozy shower, but you still get lonely, you've got the overhead rain coming in. You've got, oh, another one. You've got another. Again, all these jets. This super upgraded jetted shower. It's something you don't see on houses even for a million dollars. All right, we've got the three normal but nice size bedrooms. These are not small bedrooms. We'll call that bedroom number two. We have bedroom number three. Beautiful view right there. And bedroom number four, the blue room. That's the fireplace that we saw downstairs. That's the play area. Nice size closets. Back down those good looking stairs. And we're back in the front. If I can help you with this home or a home here in the Winter Park High School, Brookshire Heights District, or anything in Winter Park, call me, Winter Park Realtor, Scott Garrison, 407-339-3200. Thanks.